Bobby, sweetie, rise and shine. Remember last night when you couldn't wait for tomorrow? Well, tomorrow is here, hon. <sighs> tomorrow's here? This is Mission Control. Time to Bobby getting up. Two seconds and counting. Go to launch. Repeat, we are go to launch. And get a move on there now, then, yet. I've got myself a gee golly busy day here, then. And I need you all to get downstairs and eat your breakfast. Lickety split, don't you know? Okay, okay, the chow wagon's on its way. Now hold your rein, your whatever. Wake up, Roger. It's Saturday. Time to get up so we can start having fun doing nothing all day. <laughs> well, for crying in cold molasses there, hon. Get up. The gee golly sink pipes are backed up again, and things are a little wacko crazy in the kitchen right now, so. Oh no! Dad, you hit the wrong pipe! Uh, Dad! So you go in the family room, eat your breakfast, and then get yourself back upstairs and get dressed. That's mommy's good little manzy there now. Oh. Howard! Dad! What say we call a plumber? No need, Martha. I've, I've just about got it. That's what dads always say just before things really start going wrong. Oh, Howard! Told you. <laughs> Look, Roger. Really weird mysteries. I love this show. Careful, Ted. You know, all, all the pipes are connected. All the pipes are connected? those generics banging on the pipes again. Uh, what's up, Roger? Oh, it's starting. Welcome to Really Weird Mysteries and to the story of the world's richest man. The world's richest man? Ladies and gentlemen, is Hotshot Bobby, the smartest, handsomest, really, really rich guy in the whole wide world. Basically, Hotshot Bobby's just a regular guy, like you and me, except he's a bazillionaire, and as a result, rarely has to take crud from anybody. He's a simple guy who loves the simple things in life, like his mommy and his dog. <laughs> Yes, that bond between owner and pet is truly something special. And in this case, that bond between owner and pet is what has led us to another really weird mystery. Sadly, this concludes tonight's story of the kidnapping of Nasdaq, the devoted dog belonging to world-famous billionaire Gib Melson. The truth about what happened to him still remains. Oh, really? Weird mystery. Kidnapped? Yeah, Zooks! That's sad, huh, Roger? <laughs> but don't worry. I won't ever let anything like that happen to you. <laughs> For corn's sakes, what's going on in here now, then, yet? Bobby, I told you over a long suffering hour ago to finish your breakfast and get your little round torso dressed, do 
concha, no. But I need somebody to help me. Aw, oh, for giving it a break there now, Bobby. <laughs> Ow, what the? Bobby, I thought I told you to fill up Roger's water dish. I was waiting for someone to help me, Dad. I got it, I got it. There it is, your problem, right? Oh, oh, oh that's a stench. Oh, phew. Hey, Bobbo, how about scaring up a towel for your old Uncle Ted, huh? I got smushed on. Okay. Okay, somebody help me. That rips it. I have had it with you acting like some kind of Barney watching baby there now. Yeah. When moms lose it, they really lose it. It is time for you, Mr. Manzi, to start taking care of things on your own for independence sake. Kelly and Derek are sick in bed with the flu. The sink's backed up. The twins have gee golly quickly. And I've got a double dip doozy on my headache. Now, I want you to turn that television down, Mr. Man Minute, and get yourself dressed and out in the yard, Bobby Jenneric. You stay out there and keep an eye on your Roger dog till it's time to take him to his veterinary appointment. Howard, I swear, if one more thing goes wrong around here, I'm going to flip my gown lid, don't you know? I need some peace and quiet for commotion's sake and for crying in the mud. How come moms are always shouting when they say they want peace and quiet? See you next time. And remember, be careful. You never know when you may become part of a really Weird mystery. Hi, Bobby. Why are you sneaking around your own backyard? I'm not sneaking. I'm being careful, Jackie. Because you never know when you'll become part of a really weird mystery. I'd cut back on my TV watching if I were you, Bobby. The worst thing you can do in today's complex and confusing world is allow yourself to become a victim of media-induced hype. <laughs> Want to come over to my house and play? Can't. I have to stay here and keep an eye on Roger, guys. Roger! 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 Cat Zooks! Somebody's kidnapped Roger! Roger, kidnapped! Just like on TV! Mom counting on me. Oh, my fault! I gotta tell Mom, I got... If one more thing goes wrong around here, I'm gonna flip my G Allen lid. Uh-oh. I don't want Mom to flip her lid. I'm gonna have to take care of this by myself. Oh. I feel your pain, Bobby. Having your dog kidnapped. Wow, major crime has come to our neighborhood. That's big news. It is? Well, you just never expect a thing like this to happen in your own neighborhood. I just feel so, so violated. Hey, look, I'm a big guy. I can take care of myself, say. But lots of pets around here are afraid to leave their yards. They feel vulnerable, unsafe in their own doggy pet. You get it? Hey, you know why? It's him! It's all his fault! I think it's for you, Bobby. Bobby, didn't you hear what I said? I think it's for you. Hello? Ah, yes, Mr. Generic. We got your dog. Oh, 
Maker. What a way you have with words. It is you who wax eloquent. Oh, no, no, mon ami. A crew a tout brute, n'est-ce pas? Dress be an ensemble. You slay me. Oh, no, 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 you slay me. I'm your straight man. Oh, no, you're not. You're the man. 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 You're the
Four o'clock. That's a couple o'clock last morning. Bobby, did somebody call? I can hear a jiggly thing over all this noise. Wrong number. Denying reality is dangerous business, Bobby. Maybe it's time to just give it up and tell your family the truth about the kidnapping. But then again, my mom heard on Sally Jeffy that the loss of a family pet can be a traumatic event. Some families never recover from news like that. They just snap. They do? And today on the Sally Jeffy Show, the story of the generics. Generic! Generics. A family driven completely crazy by the kidnapping of their dog. Lost all touch with reality, the whole family. Sad. <laughs> this is a big time crisis, Bobby. It's like something out of a movie. Yeah. If I was a tough guy in a movie, what would I do? First, I take off my shirt. That's nice, Bobby. But maybe you should ask yourself what somebody like Bart Simpson would do. I'll give $2 to any kid who can find my kidnapped dog. Okay, we'll help. Who took him? What did they look like? Which, Which way did they, they go? I don't know. Then how are we supposed to find him? My mom says that Jerry Sprunger says that compromise is the key to successful living, Bobby. So maybe you should give the kidnappers a call, see if you can work a deal. Oh, but you don't have their phone number, do you? No problem. Call return, Jackie. It automatically calls back the last person who called you. Good thing about watching too much TV is all the commercials. Dog pound. Dog got your meeker here. A doggone good dog day afternoon to you. Can I help you? Roger's not kidnapped. He's at the pound. Right you are, youngster. His dog tags are expired. Pay the $5 fine and he will be released immediately. Roger can go home? As long as you get here by 4 p.m., if you do not arrive by that time, under Article 13, Section Zulu Tango of the Authorized Official Code, a beautifully written treatise, I might add, we will be forced to have your dog deported. Or Roger's in the pound and they're going to port him. i got to tell Mom. I thought you didn't want to get in trouble by asking for help, Bobby. When it comes to saving your dog, a kid's got to do what a kid's got to do. Roger, we got here in time. You're safe. We're not, you're not gonna be ported. Uh, sorry about that, young man. Just a misunderstanding. Your dog's not going to be sent out of the country. <laughs> no, no. I was reading from the rules governing unclaimed South American produce. <laughs> My mistake. You know, brave of you to admit it, Snurd. Thank you, and how diligent of you to frost daily, Meeker. Lonely are the brave, I'll bet oh, you. I have a steely resolve for you because you have such excellent orthodontia. Me? You. Oh. Mom, am I in trouble because Roger got put in the pound? Oh, for harried housewives, huh? Of course you're not. It was my G Golly fault for forgetting to renew his tags. Oh, you must have been so scared when you thought Roger had been kidnapped. Oh, you should have said something, little boy. It's okay to ask for help when you really are in trouble, don't you know? I wish you would have sprained that sooner. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.